Hello and good morning everyone out there on LinkedIn. Stereo Labs just released the new SDK 2.8 for their Z and Z Mini camera platform systems. It's amazing. I really love what they've done so far, but let me touch just on a few of the updates that I feel are the most important uh, moving forward. Now previously you could only scan up to 40 meters, which is an incredible accomplishment in the ultra mode, uh, but now you can actually, uh, you know, utilize the SDK features to create a fused point cloud in real time, which is what I've done here out on my front lawn. So you can see on the left hand side, this is not using any type of vertical cavity surface emitting lasers or infrared flood emitters or any kind of other, uh, you know, add on accessory to spatially map your environment. It's just using two individual 2K cameras on the front, just like your eyes at binocular disparity. And it is using the NVIDIA 10.0 at just over 3,000 CUDA cores on this uh, 2080 graphic processor unit. Now, one of the other, I, I believe, more significant updates to this SDK have to do with the fact that now you can utilize them in over the network, over IP, RJ45, or Ethernet cables. So you can use uh, uh, you know, NVIDIA Jetson or the TX2, like in the Magic Leap, to process this information on a remote server so i'll give you an example let's say on my vehicle i created a video a couple weeks ago using some depth cameras uh, where i wouldn't have to have you know multiple gpus inside my car i could create a wireless network um, which with four six eight of these Z cameras and then just connect them right up to ethernet and stream them over my network to a server that is now processing all of that heavy computation and then basically transmitting that information a little bit of latency back into the system so we can view it in real time this is an incredible amazing transformative SDK that can be used across various types of industries mainly in robotics and drones and I think that was probably one of the the, the bigger um, use cases that was kind of being limited by this because you needed a very powerful GPU to compute all of this now there's other you know competitors out there 60 AI and a bound that are doing this just with your cell phone I'll be releasing a test video later this week with a bound uh, to kind of showcase the difference between the two but you can see that this is really amazing I mean and I'm, I'm gonna also create another video with four to six cameras in my vehicle uh, coupled with machine learning computer vision um, algorithms and TensorFlow 2.0 uh, using Keras so we can potentially design an autonomous vehicle driving simulation via a software platform maybe under fifteen hundred dollars that's my goal is to create something that anybody can now take to a shop and retrofit their vehicle with with one of these systems which is only using cameras obviously in the future we want to reduce the costs associated with these I mean this is about five hundred dollars per camera because it's at 2k and it's you know sophisticately and uh, they created their SDK purposely for some of these these operating environments but I think you're gonna see a whole host of new types of products that come on the market that are based just on sensors and we have billions of these sensors around the world and I think it's really kind of a thought-provoking exercise to think if let's say we have you know 10 billion cameras all over the world now you have these algorithms that can take all that sensor data and then you know, process it or segment it or uh, whatever you're going to do to it. Um, it provides, a, you know, several different layers of artificial intelligence on top of augmenting existing, you know, industrial enterprise consumer based markets. It's truly amazing. So this is where I'm going to leave it right now. I am going to jump into the next part of the video where I'm going to show you the 40 meters out of the meshing outside here, just so you see the difference. And I'm also going to show you a concept video that someone created this morning with a Z Mini and Elite Motion taking information off an iPad uh, and, and for a new UI UX, which is what I wished the Microsoft HoloLens actually looked like. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see if I can get these other ones to work. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, one more time. I wanted to show you the real-time depth and point cloud creation uh, abilities of the new SDK. So you can kind of see this is my laptop there and then on this side you can see that the little point cloud uh, real time that is creating. If you had multiple Zs over the network you'd be able to actually see all of those cameras here and then we could calibrate them. 
um, with a little checkerboard. But here you go. This is going out to 40 meters here in my front yard. And I actually used a couple of these technologies over the last few weeks to do some testing with uh, autonomous vehicles, which I've discussed previously. Um, but again, this goes to show, and it kind of pertains to an argument that was put forth by Elon Musk versus LiDAR, light image detection and ranging, whereas they're getting away from LiDAR and utilizing just radar, ultrasonic sensors, and multiple cameras, right? They have at least eight different camera systems on the device itself, and they're able to um, take all of this information in and then store it and render it and, and essentially kind of daisy chain it with the, you know, they, they've driven over a billion miles out there to create this huge, um, highly accurate, semantic, um, you know, spatialized understanding of the world, which is increasing the um, efficiency and accuracy of their autonomous vehicles. Elon Musk discussed this in great detail, talking about having over a million robo taxis in less than a year. And I'm going to tell you right now, I believe that it's possible. Um, the only things that will limit it are some, you know, maybe some legal issues, maybe some federal um, guidelines on on autonomous vehicles, but also how, or how comfortable we are, you know, relying on a digital camera or a set of cameras as a stack, a technology platform to keep us safe and our children safe as it drives us to school or drives us to work or, or you know, essentially drives us to wherever we deem that we want to go. So um, I wanted to show this to you as well on top of some of the other spatialized uh, projection mapping um, with this technology. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it.